Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach, and this is another of our Success Friday vi videos talking about financing your business. And this is a conversation about angels. But before we get into the details of angel investing, I want to talk to you about a TV show. And in this case, the TV show is Shark Tank. And in Shark Tank, you have uh, investors come on and make a cute little quick pitch. Um, they get potentially up to four offers to invest in their company and they close the deal right there uh, I will you know given that this is a TV show it's entertainment it's not reality so I want to uh, introduce you to the introdu uh, to angel investing which is the reality way that this happens now when you talk to angels you're talking to oftentimes the first semi-professionals if not professionals that have evaluated your company they are high net worth, meaning they've got a lot of money, accredited investors. An accredited investor means the same thing as high net worth in a lot of ways, it means they have a lot of money. And the federal government likes it that way because they don't want an individual investing in a business like this and going destitute because they lost tens of thousands of dollars. So these are people with a million dollar plus in net worth and can stand a small uh, loss in their investment. Many small businesses, especially startup businesses, go out of business early on. And so there's risk involved, so they want the potential risk and the trade-off there. Now, when you talk to angel investors, and a lot of times they're going to have groups, and there's a up here in the North Bay, there's a North Bay Angels group. They're going to want to review a live presentation as well as a deck from the company. Um, this presentation will review the business and then includes all the ideas and the business plan behind the company, who the customers are, who the competition is. And the next thing they want to see is the biography of the individuals involved. Remember, they're not just investing in the business, but the people in the business. So they want to make sure that they're going to be good investments. So having a background in the industry or having successfully executed a startup business before is a great uh, part of that uh, background presentation. The other thing they want to know about is the details of the investment. They want to know how much money you want to raise and what you're going to do with it. So sources of capital, how much you're going to get, and then how you're going to, you know, how you're going to spend it. And then you can, they can also see how you're expecting to give them a return on their investment. So that's all about the investment. And then the other thing you should assume is that they're not going to all sit down and write you a million dollar check. I worked for a company that raised five million dollars across 75 or so investors at an average around 65 to 70 thousand per investor. That's a reasonable amount, 100 thousand maybe not unreasonable to expect a raise per person, uh, but you could expect less. Some people might only be able to give you 15k or 20k. So that's the other thing you expect to be able to make a detailed presentation to highly skilled individuals who've been there before and for them to deliver you somewhat around you know somewhere between ten thousand and a hundred thousand dollars so that's a lot about angel investing and i hope that helps you understand it a little bit better this is jim sackman for focal point change your business change your life and have a great day